Hi, I'm Reverend Brittany, core team member at Trailblazers Church. I'm really excited to bring you all behind the scenes as we tell you and share our story of what we're doing to build this ministry. Over the past several weeks, we have been looking for a place to transition our services from virtually to being able to meet in person. So watch this video, enjoy this video as we show you one of the spaces that we got the opportunity to look at. Our team has been very intentional about praying and asking God where we should plant this ministry and where we should have a physical location. What we've done is scoured the internet, looked on Craigslist, looked on listservs, um, and looked at a lot of different options. On this day, we found this location via Craigslist. So we met up with the realtor who began to show us the space. This is a shared building that has everything included. And for a ministry that's just starting, that's exactly what we're looking for. We're relying on people to give to be able to support the work of the ministry, but we got to start somewhere. So this is a perfect location. It's a perfect option for what it is that we're looking for. The realtor begins to show us the space and begin to talk about the different ministries that share the space and gives us a bunch of different ideas of how we can use it that would best suit what we're trying to do. Apostle Sean begins to tell the realtor about how he planted a church in Columbus and when we first started, he didn't think about utilizing a shared space because in the Midwest, that's not necessarily a thing that you think about. For those of you who don't know, when Apostle Sean started Advanced Church Columbus, he actually started it in the basement of a house. One of the main differences is the types of spaces that you find in the Midwest versus in the tri-state area. So we've been trying to be very creative and looking for spaces and looking for options and knowing that it is important to have a place to come together to worship him. There are so many factors to consider, whether or not it fits within our budget, whether or not we could have the service at the right time of day, whether or not the people that are in the New York area can easily commute to it. And so considering all those factors, we met to come to a decision, but you'll have to wait until the next episode. So like I said in the beginning, we are so excited to have a place that we can worship together, that we can come together to pray and to study the word, obviously um, being mindful of COVID, but we do want to come together. So stay tuned to find out what building do we pick? What is our location? Make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube. Make sure that you're following us on Facebook and on Instagram and that you're signed up for updates via our website. We are so excited to take you on this journey. Thank you for being a part and we look forward to partnering with you.